destiny of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not punish every individual for every sin that he commits at the time he commits it. This is very important. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala left the door of mercy open for us to repent. And some people sometimes are taking this for granted. And Allah mentioned this in the Quran. And for example, He said, When they were making fun of the Prophet وسلم, doing the Najwa, that the sacred talk, and then they said, Oh, if we are making fun of the mark of the Prophet, they said, Oh, if we are doing wrong, why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not punish us? So make sure that this is one of the blessings of Allah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not punish you immediately when you disobey him, but when you disobey him, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala left the doors of tawbah, the doors of repentance open for you. And this is completely different than others. You know, in Christianity, for example, in Christianity, this is what they believe. Every single sin is, is actually uh, is mortal. Mortal meaning one should be put for to death for it. Regardless what type of sin. And since they treat the sins in that manner, then they said because of this Allah has sent His only Son as a sacrifice for our sins. So subhanallah والذين إذا فمجد استسف عذي والذين إذا فعلوا فاحشة أو ظلموا أنفسهم ذكروا الله فاستغفروا لذنوبهم ومن يغفر الذنوب إلا الله ولم يصروا على ما فعلوا وهم يعلمون ولم يصروا على ما فعلوا وهم يعلمون. So this one of the first part of the hadith is Allah's rights upon you. And the second part of the hadith is the rights of the ibad, of the, the rights of your soul upon you. Do not commit wrong to yourself. Make sure that do not do that. You will not feel the effect of this sin today. But it's like a disease, like cancer in your body. It will go slowly, slowly until one day, subhanAllah, your heart will be hardened. And this is what the Prophet says in a hadith. When a person commits a sin, what happened? A blood dot. Right away appears on his heart. Inna al-abda ida adna ha kanat nukta fi sawda'u fi qalbi. Whenever you disobey Allah, a blood dot right away appears in your heart. And the Prophet says, if you repent, then your heart will be clean. But if you continue, it will continue. It will grow until all of a sudden, subhanAllah, your heart will be covered completely. But as soon as you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with sincerity, with ikhlas, and yaqeen that rest assured Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive it for you. And tomorrow, inshaAllah, we'll touch upon the third title of the, or the third part of the hadith, inshaAllah.